Hey, how's it going there? This is Chloe with Rooted Dog Training. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the e-collar, the mini educator by e-collar technologies. And I pretty much just want to walk you through how the functions of this uh, mechanism work um, and how you can uh, make sure that you're using it properly with your dog, okay? So if you're going through one of our programs, this is especially important and I want to make sure that you watch this video uh, in its entirety so that um, you are fully prepared and ready to uh, to use this tool in the way that it was designed to use. There's a lot of people out there that are misusing these, these types of products and um, we want to make sure that we use them the way they were designed. Uh, that way we can uh, make sure that we're treating our dog with respect while uh, helping them overcome uh, some behavior issues um, and uh, get that dog that we had hoped to, <laughs> to have, right? So it really is an amazing tool. There are some things about e-collars or electronic collars or shop collars or whatever you want to call them. Um, there are a lot of ideas out there that have um, a negative uh, view um, and really a lot of those negative views are just misconstrued and um, uh, just not having all the facts, right, about how these things actually work. Uh, first off, just to kind of make sure that you understand, this is not a collar to where you get an elect electric shock. It is not at all that kind of technology. In fact, if you are familiar with um, uh, with the tool a TENS unit, which actually is used for physical therapy for humans. So perhaps you have arthritis or fibromyalgia. This may be something that you use on a regular basis and get from your doctor. It's something very, very similar. The technology anyways is very similar to the way that the e-collar is used. So it's not an electric shock, like you, know, like you have your electricity in your uh, outlets at home. That's not what it is. It's not gonna be like you sticking your finger in there. Not at all. It's actually more like a stimulation or some people like to call it a tickle uh, that they feel against their skin. And it actually stimulates the muscle. So at times you may actually see the muscle contract, all right, because it's exactly what it is. It's a muscle stimulator. That's what it's designed for us as humans. Okay, so same technology. Um, of course, with the e-collar, we're gonna talk more in depth about it. Uh, there is a wide range of levels, um, which actually is uh, also the same with TENS unit. Um, however, the way we use those levels are obviously going to be different. The way we use e-collar has its really different purpose. But just so you're familiar with how it actually, um, how it, um, the way it actually feels for the dog, I want to make sure people understand that, that it is not actually a, an electric shock. Okay, so we're not shocking our dogs. <laughs> that would be cruel. Okay, we're not doing that. And we're going to use it in a way that the dog understands what it means, and, uh, and which is super, super important, okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, mini educator, this is what it looks like when you get it, when you receive it, uh, whether you order it online or you maybe you buy it at a store. Um, not too many places sell them, I believe, but I'm sure there are a few. Um, or if you're in my programs, I'm going to deliver it straight to you. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. And if you notice, it has a half mile range. Okay, I doubt you're ever going to need it <laughs> in that way. Um, it's actually more in purpose for those that use it for hunting reasons um, where they need to track their dog uh, in, you know, in that sense. So not really super important for you, but just to give you an idea, you can use it for long ranges of recall uh, with your dog, which is really pretty cool. Okay, um, it is completely waterproof, the remote and the collar. So if you want your dog to go in a pool or a lake or at the beach or whatnot, don't worry about it getting wet. Um, there will be some safety measures that you will take, of course, with that, but it is actually it is very safe for the dog, okay? So we're gonna open it up and you'll see inside it's got all these things in here. We're gonna, I'm gonna talk you through each one. Um, it comes with, first off, a manual. So make sure that you, um, you know, if you ever need to have any, if you have any questions or whatever, how it works, refer to your manual. Also be sure to get it registered. That way if anything ever happens, if you lose it, if you break it, something like that, you can get it replaced. E-Collar Technology is a company that makes this. It has awesome customer service, so please take advantage of that when you need to. It comes with a wall charger, okay? It comes with a lanyard. I don't use them, but a lot of other people do. And it comes with a little baggie of a little tool that will uh, demonstrate on and your extra contact points. We'll talk about that. 
and um, a tester right here to make sure your uh, no remote is working properly or your um, receiver is working properly. Okay, and then you have your remote. Okay, this is <laughs> this is an old remote. This isn't brand new stuff. I'm just <laughs> showing you. So this is kind of obviously used if you can see well enough. Okay, and it comes with a receiver. Now the receiver actually comes with this collar which you can, you know, most definitely use. However, I like to use a different collar, so I have a different one attached. And if you're a client of mine, you'll most likely get one of these collars, and it's just a buckle, uh, you know, a snap, I should say, uh, like that. So it's just easier. The one that comes with this is actually a buckle, okay? Um, so I just find the, the snap easier. I really like them. I think they hold place pretty nicely, so... That's that. You can change out the collars, you know, with any other type of collar that you like. Uh, just make sure it's the right size. Okay, so now let's walk you through the remote first. Um, the remote, it has a lot of different settings on it. Even though it may not have a lot of buttons, there are a lot of different uh, ways that you can actually set your remote. Now, if you're working with me, this is how we're going to set it up, okay? Pretty much just how it comes right out of the box. I turn it on with this back button right here. Okay, it's the on off light switch, so I just hold it down and it flashes on. Okay, and you'll see the light flashing here and a blue light, right? Obviously it's on. Another uh, little thing that you'll see is on the back is this button here, it's an MC. That stands for the M and the C on the screen. So if you push it, it'll say M, push it again, just C, push it again. Uh, M and C, and that's how we want it to, to read, is M and C. So if you see it with just one of the letters, just press the button until you get both letters, all right? Now, what do those letters stand for? M stands for momentary, and C stands for continuous. The M represents this button here, the black button. So if you notice when I push it, it's momentary. So this light right here represents the uh, me stimulating or me talking to the receiver. In fact, let me do this first so we can demonstrate. To turn on the receiver, there's these two magnets, these red dots. I want you to put them together. Kiss, right? <laughs> uh, and you'll see this turn red. If I hold, oh, I mean green, I'm sorry. To turn it off, it's red. Do it again. Green, okay, so this is on and this is on. So, to, again, if I demonstrate with the black button, you'll notice it's going to stimulate, right? So they're talking to each other now, and they'll flash red when it's activated. Now, the reason why it's momentary is because if I press it, and even if I hold it, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, it only did a quick flash of um, stimulation, right? Now, if I hold the red button, which stands for continuous, I can hold that down and it will go on for 10 seconds, okay, at the longest and it will automatically shut off. Now, you can also just tap it, <laughs> right? So I like to just use the red button, I think it's easier because if you need to just do momentary, all you got to do is tap the red button. If you need to use continuous, then you just hold it down for as long as you need and then let go when appropriate. And of course, we'll talk about how to use continuous in your training program. But that's how the buttons function, okay? And on the side is just a, it's not a stimulation, but it makes a tone sound, or you can set it to where it has a vibration. We don't use either of those modes, so don't worry about it. I like to keep it on tone rather than vibration, because vibration could sometimes actually be more, um, uh, be more, intense for the dog rather than the actual stimulation depending on what level you have it on. So we don't want to um, cause any high reaction to the dog unnecessarily if we can help it. Uh, so that's why I just keep it on tone because it's, you know, it's just not as intense. All right. So those are the buttons and that's how you're going to have it set up. The on top is a dial. Okay. So you notice it goes from zero all the way to 100 and it says high. For 100. Go back one, right? So 99, 100, okay? Um, and you hold it in your hand just like so. Okay, you, 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 
you gotta be right-handed for this <laughs> or you know figure it out if you're a lefty but um really works best if you hold it in your right hand all right so it's kind of hard to do it this way but in other ways you're gonna pretty much hold it like this and you'll learn as you go to to flip the dial um as as you as you uh progress in in learning how to use it it'll come not naturally you know as you go that's what i mean to say it'll come naturally okay and then you can use this or this finger to uh to do your stimulation okay and that's how that works okay we'll talk more about levels in your program but but that's how that works all right also on here you have the charging port which is on the back so that's where you charge it now uh, well, before I say the next part, and on your receiver, you have the charging port here, okay? Now, if you're going to take uh, your dog in the water of any sort, like I said, they are waterproof, but just make sure that those charging ports are completely closed, okay? Otherwise, you will damage these. Okay, so one other thing is the light on the receiver, which is pretty, pretty cool. If you notice on the back of your remote where that on-off switch was, right, it says light. So if you press that, you get a flashing light. If you press it again, you get a con you know continuous light. And this is a really cool feature. If you take your dog out at night, uh, you got you know uh, a sense of where your dog is, that kind of thing. And it's just kind of nice for for uh, safety reasons. Now we want to go back to our box and pull out that little baggie, okay? And I'm just going to demonstrate real quick about what this bag is for. And that is. It's got these contact points in there, okay? Sorry, contact points. And these are extras to replace these. They are a different size. I believe I have the long, oh no, I'm sorry. This is another bag that I have. But anyways, you're gonna get a long hair contact points and then a shorter one. So you'll be different sizes. So depending on the dog that you need, uh, that you have, you may require different contact points, okay? Now if the ones that you have, you feel are not contacting your dog's skin, then please check the ecollar.com and they have other contact points that are different for different furs, um, for a thick fur, long fur, you know, that sort of thing. Um, even for dogs that have very little fur, um, maybe, you know, almost like, like um, for example, boxers, you know, those kinds of breeds, pit bulls, and they have very little fur and uh, they may not, they may need a, a different kind of contact point. So you can reach out to me if you're unsure about which one to choose or which one's appropriate. If you're in my program, then I'll make sure that, that you know and you have the appropriate accessories for that. All right. So another tool in that little baggie is this contact point tool. And all you do is just, it's to help you unscrew the contact points. Okay. The one other thing it has is the little tester. If you hold those on the contact points and you test it, you'll see the little light flashing, right? That means it's working. And the higher you have the level, the more intense the light gets, all right? So in case you wanna test it, but honestly, I just tested it on my own skin because, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. And uh, you should test it on yourself, by the way. Uh, you should, I, I make, sh make sure all my clients try it out just so they understand what it feels like. And it really isn't as scary as you may think it is, okay? It's really not that bad. Uh, okay, so I think that's it. That's the e-collar. I can't think of anything else to tell you about it other than this one last thing I want to tell you, <laughs> okay? And that is when you do use the e-collar, you're most likely not going to have it on 24-7, all right? You want to make sure you give your dog uh, breaks when you don't when you don't need it. Depending on your dog, you know, or what your trainer may suggest or what I suggest, uh, you know, go with what they say because they are the professionals. Okay, um, but either way, say you do have it on the majority of the day, I want to make sure that you rotate it every four to six hours. Okay, so you're gonna place it on your dog, you know, about here on its neck, right, and then right here. Rotate sides every four to six hours because it is supposed to fit snug. You know, it can't be loose, otherwise it's not going to touch the skin, and then why even have it? It's pointless. It's not going to work. So it needs to be fit snug. So because of that, we don't want it to develop any pressure sores. Just like if you had a watch on, right, and you had it on really tight, and you get those little marks, we don't want to get, you know, irritate our dog with that. So we want to make sure that we're rotating it and making it as comfortable as possible. Okay, so if you have any questions regarding the e-collar, please leave uh, any questions for uh, <laughs> any of those questions for me in comments below, um, or reach out to me at Chloe at RootedDogTraining.com. 
Or, of course, to, if you want to learn any more about my programs and philosophies, you can visit my website at rootedogtraining.com. All right? I'll talk to you soon, and I look forward to working with you.